In this video, we're going to give you an overview of the Beginner's Guide to UX course. In Chapter 2, we're going to talk about the differences between UX and UI, the different activities UX designers engage in, and the deliverables that come out of it. We're also going to give you a breakdown of the different types of job titles you'll see in the UX field, and look at how user experience fits in with traditional design and development cycles. In Chapters 3 and 4, we're going to focus on how visual perception and memory impacts the user experience. We'll start by talking about how the visual system organizes and processes information. Then we'll start talking about how color and contrast work together to make sure our designs work effectively. In Chapter 4, we'll start digging into the human memory system and deal with subjects like motivation and decision making and issues of long-term and short-term memory. Finally, we'll dig into some of the behaviors that are specific to the mobile context. In Chapters 5, 6, and 7, we're going to focus on user research and usability testing. Chapter 5 digs into various methods of usability testing and goes through the process of planning an actual usability test. In Chapter 6, we'll dig into interviews, ethnographic methods, and quantitative methods like surveys and analytics, and we'll finish up with how to plan user research studies. In Chapter 7, we'll talk about how to put all of that research together and communicate your findings to stakeholders through personas, user journeys, usability test reports, and expert reviews. In Chapters 8 and 9, we're going to focus on digging into design and content issues. We'll start with the basics of sketching and design studio workshops. Then we'll dig into prototyping our design solutions, as well as creating and using design patterns. In Chapter 9, we're going to focus on content and information architecture. We'll start with a discussion of content structures and information architecture. Then we'll discuss different ways to test our information architecture. We'll finish up Chapter 9 with a discussion of typography best practices and how to optimize legibility and contrast. We'll finish up our course by talking about accessibility and internationalization. In addition to providing an overview of the principles of accessibility, we'll spend some time in Chapter 10 digging into WCAG 2.0, the International Guidelines for Creating Accessible Products. In Chapter 11, we'll dig into some of the language and cultural issues we must consider when building products for a global audience. We'll wrap up the course with some resources to further your UX education.